Why have they done this? Well, so This American Life said that um, one of their kind of cousins uh, over at uh, Marketplace, one of the reporters there, uh, which is another show about economics, had uh, wondered whether or not specific parts of a show that they aired in January called Mr. Daisy Goes to the Apple Factory um, were authentic. And after some digging, they said that they can't stand by the facts that were put into the show and the things that were asserted. Uh, one of those were that um, there was a person who was who had been uh, poisoned by an, a, a special chemical that's used in iPhone factory. And uh, Mr. Daisy described how that person had, uh, he'd gone to meet this person and let him use an iPad. And he talked about how magical it was. And apparently, um, Marketplace, it, This American Life says that Marketplace, uh, you know, kind of went, at, went and discussed this with Mr. Daisy and he admitted to a fabrication. And so um, this has all become an issue of, you know, what was fact versus um, a fabrication to kind of dramatize the issue. Um, and so they say that a lot of the facts in their story were wrong and they're gonna actually have an era show um, this weekend that's gonna talk about all of the things that they got wrong. Ian, what's been the fallout of this? Uh, I understand that the website crashed for the program? Yeah, they, it, it, at least initially, it seems back up now, but they, they, the amount of uh, interest in this, of course, was huge. Uh, the, uh, the original show that aired on January 6th was, was apparently their most downloaded show ever. And um, of course, you know, it came out right, um, right before Apple released its own audit um, that they do annually. And so there was a lot of interest in that. And then there were media reports about, you know, how Ap Apple handles its supply chain and whatnot. It became a huge issue that um, not only its executives were responding to constantly, but also they even invited a news crew in, if you remember, at one point to do a video shoot of what the factory lines are like. So this became a big, big issue for Apple. And um, as a result, you know, when, when This American Life uh, put out that retraction, you know, so many people went to their website, just went down. Now, I actually remember listening to this, this show. Um, Mr. Daisy um, is, is re retorting, he says, quote, the tools of the theater are not the same as the tools of journalism. For this reason, I regret that I allowed This American Life to air an ex excerpt from my monologue. Uh, what does he mean by this? Well, I mean, you know, I can't, I can't speak for Mr. Daisy, but the sense that I get from that quote that you read is that he's saying that theater is theater and journalism and journalism is journalism and they don't always mix. And, um, you know, the, the way that This American Life says it is that, you know, that a lot of this seemed to be fabricated, but it felt like it was, it was close to the truth. And, you know, that's the problem is that a lot of people at This American Life kind of the way that they, that they said in their statement was that a lot of this felt right and that in their fact checking it sounded right and they had they shouldn't have you know there were a lot of things that came up in their fact checking that were that seemed wrong though and they pushed ahead because it seemed as though it was accurate and they regretted doing that and, and remind us again uh, ian what was the name of the performance uh, uh the daisy's performance on which this was based I believe it was called The Agony and the Ecstasy of Steve Jobs. Okay. And, I, um, and, the, and the show that This American Life put out on January 6th was called Mr. Daisy Goes to an iPhone Factory, I believe. Gotcha. Okay, and it's got an extended run through March the 18th, so obviously not uh, hurting that show that much there, but obviously pretty embarrassing for um, This American Life.